<laughs> Hi, this is Wally and Nanette, and Nanette from Supreme Isopods, and we're coming to you today. This is going to be a little bit ad hoc, but it's based off of a video that we did just a couple of weeks ago. It's not that informal, but we're going to be talking about selling your isopods at reptile shows. I get so many questions about, I have so many dairy cows, I have so many of this or so many of that of isopods, what do I do with them? There's so many different things that you can do with them, but one of the things is selling them. Make this, a, this hobby a little bit of a business, and one of the best ways to sell them is to take isopods to a show, to a reptile show, and sell them there. Let's talk about that now. Okay, as you can see, I have the secondary seat, and Nanette has the primary seat no. here. And there's a reason for that. The reason is that I'm just going to kind of add pieces to this whole puzzle, and Nanette's going to help with especially the main part of how to sell isopods at a reptile show. Some of the tips and techniques. And I think we can, we can probably come up with three or four different tips that we can share with you to help you make sure that you can sell your isopods at a reptile show. So now you're asking, well, what's the Christmas present that's sitting right in front of you? I have another setup here. We just got a package from Scott Maroney of Finger Lake Feeders. Thank you very much, Scott. I need to find out from you how much I owe for these isopods. So while we talk about these tips, we'll go ahead and open this box. Why don't you go ahead and cut it open the net because you know what happens if I get the knife in my hand. Mm -hmm. What happens? Somebody gets hurt. And it's probably going to be me. It's probably going to be me that well, gets hurt. Me. Maybe I'll wait until after Nanette's done with the knife to start having uh, some thoughts on this. Okay, where's that meme? One hour later. <laughs> This is like a Christmas box. It's so well packaged. You know, if this is t-shirts or, or underwear or something from Amazon, we might be redoing this whole video. Well done, Scott. Well done. Okay, let's keep this to the side. Let's, we're gonna open the, what did you, you just tapped them like. I tapped. You don't tap a fish tank to say, hi fishies, hi no, fishies. I, you can tap that because you're getting the fuzzies down. Okay, now that the fuzzies are down, how about a tip for our, our viewers here that came to find out how to sell their isopods at a reptile show? What's one of the key tips that you can think of? Well, make sure you're bringing in healthy animals. Excellent, excellent idea. So um, what makes a healthy isopod? An animal that's moving around a lot in the tank. It looks nice and big. It's happy. I don't know. Perfect. Really, really want to give customers your healthiest animals that you possibly can the healthiest animals you can so well fed well hydrated. well fed well hydrated we talked about and and I'll, I'll share right here or right here a video that we did about three weeks ago somewhere up here we did a video things that you want to take to a reptile show for your isopods and and if you haven't seen that yet watch this video go to that video and watch that great video Okay, let's, let's take another, uh, before we do, we're just all over the place folks today. I have a container already set up for these isopods that we just got in. <clears throat> Ventilation, sphagnum moss, leaves, everything set. I set this container up about four weeks ago-ish. Springtails are going to town. This is a well-established enclosure. And it wasn't for this specific shipment because Scott told me like two or three days ago it was coming in. So let's talk about another tip for uh, ice, selling isopods at reptile shows. Um, having pictures. Having pictures, right. having pictures. So here you have a whole show and you have your table full of deli cups. You have let's say hundreds and hundreds, well maybe not hundreds and hundreds, lots and lots of deli cups set up on your table. And maybe you even put the name of the uh, species on there. Maybe you put Giant Canyon, maybe you put a price, but you don't have pictures. Picture yourself, well, see that segue I just did there? Picture, <laughs> picture yourself walking across the reptile uh, show and coming across a table like this 
and all you see is deli cups with a little bitty tiny label. Not very, I don't want to say impressive, it's, it's impressive to see, I, it's not eye-catching, it's not something that's going to make you stop at that table and say, oh my gosh, look, they have this isopod or they have this isopod. So you want to have some kind of a, an indication of what those isopods are. What we have done recently, and we talked about this again in the video that I just shared, we went over to a QR code. So we have a sign with the isopods name and we have a QR code and somebody can take their smartphone. I was reaching for yours so that I could demonstrate. But anyways, I think people will get it. You take your smartphone, put it up to the QR code and right away it comes up with our website and that specific isopod. So you see a picture of, we used to stop, I used to stop the videos when Gus would walk around. I'm just gonna let it go because we he's just all over the place. Someday, We'll show Gus on, on one of these videos. So this QR code sign allows people to scan and see the pictures and also get a feel for you know, other information on that isopod because we have descriptions on and care information on all of these isopods. Uh, let's talk about these animals. The giant Spanish isopod, it's Porcelio nicholsi. And I am so psyched about getting these isopods. And Annette's opening, opening the container, and I think Scott sent at least a dozen. He might have sent way more than that. These aren't an easy isopod, and Scott has them well, well packaged mm -hmm. with sphagnum moss here. So while you're doing that, do you have okay. another tip for our viewers on what you can do with your reptile shows to help you sell isopods? Um, I always volunteer to open up the container so they can actually see the isopod and then talk about the actual isopod itself. Absolutely. Find out the ones I like the best. And what does that do? Why, why do you do that? Well, it kind of gets them interested in what's in the container. It kind of gets them interested to see what an isopod is because a lot of people don't even know what an isopod is. Great And they point. look at you kind of like you're mental when you say roly-poly or pill bug. So when you show them how cool they look, they get more interested. I sold a lot more this last time that way. And I'm gonna throw a key word out there. <clears throat> engage the customers. Make sure that you absolutely engage the customers and get them uh, talking about these isopods so that you can share your passion about this hobby. What's your, what's your next tip, Nanette? Well, this is tip number four. I would say it would be talking about the care. How are they gonna keep them when they get home with them? What are they gonna put in the container with them? Feeding them? And I kind of go over all that with them. I show them the sample one that we have for sale so they kind of know what all to put in. And why in the world would you want to do that? I'm sitting at a table, I have an isopod. Hey, uh, how much were those isopods? Uh, 20 bucks, okay, here you go. Thank you for the $20, next customer. I'm in the mode to sell animals at a reptile show. Why in the world would I want to take the time to stop and talk about care of animals at a reptile show? Because people need to be informed about how to take care of them the correct way so that they don't just take it home and keep it in that little container that we brought it in and keep feeding that container. It's the well-being of the animal, the health of the animal. Be you, wouldn't, you wouldn't sell a crested gecko like that and you wouldn't just say here, good luck. All of them, all of them yeah. come, go off the table and I don't no. talk about care yeah. whatsoever. No. So it's the Nanette, education you need to know how to take care of the animal. So I think Nanette's having a hard time with my question because <laughs> She Duh. is the one, so at shows, Nanette does the, most of the time, Nanette does the isopod sales, and I cover all of the weird old geckos, but I think she's having a hard time with answering that because I'm the one that talks people's ears off. I'm the one that eventually gets to the point of, oh yeah, I have to make a sale here and, and, and sell you your animal, but I'll talk care because I want to make sure that that person is so informed when they get home, they know exactly what to do with these animals. And I want to make sure that their care is absolutely 100% right on. So spend the time. That way you help ensure that that customer is going to be satisfied. And eventually, hopefully, that customer is going to come back to you and look for more isopods. It's a positive experience. It's a positive experience. You want 110% positive customer response from the product that you're presenting. Let's go ahead and put these away because they've been sitting out with all the editing I've done here. They've been sitting out for three hours. 
We, this is going pretty well. I hope that this informal presentation works out well. I'm going to go ahead and gently, gently dump place them into them our place container them dump. and don't dump. I never I'm gonna, dump. I'm gentle. I'm gonna move around. They look cool. Oh, they look great. Giant Spanish, I believe, if I remember right. Okay. Can you think of any other tips, Nanette, that we can share with our viewers? Ask questions. If you aren't sure, ask. Don't ever um, feel like you don't know and that you're wrong by not knowing. I have to refer to you multiple times in a show. I ask you if this one is okay in the situation. So ask as many questions as you can and don't be afraid to, to try to get more information on them and enjoy them. You, but you... See, here's the thing. You ask questions like, what's the difference between uh, Armadillidium klugai Montenegro and Dubrovnik? Things like that. You ask very specific questions because you haven't had, you know, the, the amount of time doing right. the research and everything. But I think you do a really, really, really super job of if somebody says, I just want an isopod for my arid enclosure. I just want an isopod for my super moist enclosure. <clears throat> I, I, I need an isopod that doesn't stay burrowed all the time. I want to see some activity in the enclosure. So be informed, do your research. You are going to get tons and tons and tons of questions like that and you're going to get a lot of cleanup crew type of questions. Be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Know the animals that they're keeping. Leopard geckos, crusted geckos, bearded dragons, snakes. Know the animals and the best isopod for those situations. Be prepared, do your research, ask questions. Shoot me a question if you want to and I'll help you answer that question in preparation for being ready for a customer at a show. You're smiling like you, you've been there before. Anything else? No, I think you covered it all. Well, I don't think I covered it all because I, you know, we're gonna finish this video just like every single video and I'm gonna start editing and I'm gonna go, oh my gosh, I should have talked about this. I should have talked about then that. Then you just do an insert. If I did that, I wouldn't put these videos out for three or four weeks. Um, and we're I, not retaping this. We're not re-taping. Re we're under the time. Then that's back into the 70s with taping. We're not re-recording -re these. I say that all the time. Um, so I hope these tips have helped you. Again, watch this video right here, right here, because it's very informative and I think that that will play very well with this video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy Hit your ice pads. Uh, Scott sent, what are you looking at? I, I can't read. It says Brandon Perez. Well, maybe we just screwed the whole video up. It says Steeler Order Scott Plus 5. But... I don't know. We better check outside. Can you just make a quick check outside? This is next day air, so that was... I think it's Scott. No. I'm sorry, I just have to... No, we'll, we'll check that out.